Hey everybody, it's Mr. Xditch. I'm back. Weekly vlog 002. The power of time blocking is what I'm going to talk about today. But first of all, sorry for the green background. I put green screen up in my office. It's fixed to the wall. It seems like quite a good idea because I'm like, yeah, then I can appear on YouTube videos in front of things. And I did a test and I've done nothing with it since, which is marvellous, isn't it? Such is the way of these things. But I thought it's been folded up and as you can see, it's slightly wrinkly. So I thought I'm just going to let it hang for a bit and maybe see if I can drop the creases out. So anyway, yeah, bright green background. Maybe I'll do them all with a green background because at least it means I don't have to tidy my office. I can just hide behind it. And apologies for the noise going by outside. I live in a tiny, on a street where lots of cars go by. There yeah, goes another one. And another one. Yeah, no, no. Magic. So there's an insight into my world that you didn't need. Um, yeah. I'm trying to get my ass in gear, get my act together. I'm trying to do like time blocking is a thing, right? Where the idea is is you say with intention what you want to do each week and you schedule those things out in your calendar. And I read Deep Work by Cal Newport and it kinda he talks about that. He can he's even got a, a time blocking diary that you can use. Um and I did it, and, and on my Google Calendar that I have for work, it would always say, uh, for the first hour of my working days, which were like Tuesday and Thursday, it'd be like, process emails. And then at about half past four on a Friday, uh, on a Thursday, it would say, uh, prepare tasks. And I just wouldn't do it, because it's too vague or whatever, you know, processing emails and stuff. But in two weeks' time, my youngest daughter, we get her free nursery hours, so she's going to go to nursery for three days a week, which is going to be great. And so I will have Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and potentially Fridays for working. I say potentially because my wife is always at home with Annie on a Friday, and usually I end up getting roped in stuff. So anyway, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. So now I'm like, right, time blogging version 2.0. And I've started to do it just with broad brush things, so kind of like trying to make Tuesday mornings like admin, you know, emails, processing all the lightweight stuff that you can use to distract yourself before you get into some real deep work. And then every Wednesday is going to be like a production day, whether it's the magazine or Mr. X Stitch or the other little websites that I'm kind of tinkering around with. And I'm really just going to try and make sure that I dedicate time. So for instance, Wednesday is at midday on my calendar. It says weekly vlog because I love you guys, so you're on my schedule, and I've got things like checking in on LinkedIn and just trying to, you know, scheduling time where all I'm going to do is try and maintain relationships with people. Because one of the things I got from listening to the Evergreen Assets book, which I talked about in the last video, is just this idea of, like, nurturing ongoing relationships. And uh, my friend Annie, who runs a company called Hustlewell, she's like a business coach, hustlewell.co.uk, I think. I'll put it in the show notes. Um, she's been doing me some coaching. One of the things she says is you should have a list of like 20 people that you want to build a relationship with. And each week you should connect with one of them or two of them, you know, and try and just massage your relationships. Not asking for anything, just getting on their radar so that they understand who you are, what kind of person you are. So when the time comes for you to ask them to advertise with your magazine or whatever, um, they like you already. And so I think that's a useful thing. So I'm trying to schedule time for that, schedule time for the blog, schedule time for posting content on Instagram and Facebook, schedule time for doing my weekly email newsletter and my monthly business homies newsletter. I'll try and put links to all those in the description. Well, if you sign up for my newsletter, which is in the show notes anyway, um, you can choose to be added to the business homies list, which is where I talk about the business stuff, because that's the funny thing is it's like people are like, ah, talk about cross stitch. I'm like, I don't do any cross-stitch. I haven't had time to do any cross-stitch. But what I have had time to do is learn about abandoned car email processes and all those sorts of things. So I've got a business homies list, which is kind of like where I'm kind of putting that sort of stuff. So I'm going to try the time blocking because like, we kind of do it at home. Every Thursday we have pizza. We make pizza at home. And on Wednesdays the girls have swimming. So we have like fish finger sandwiches. And sometimes knowing that the decision's already there because it's in the schedule, it just... It just lightens the load a little bit. So that's what I'm going to try and do with my time blocking. I'm going to see if I can just broadly say the things I want to do and slowly but surely kind of nail down the specifics so that, yeah, hopefully I can get on, you know, spend time working in the business, spend time working on the business, spend time building relationships, 
Spend time catching up with you fine folks. So, there we are. Weekly vlog for today. Weekly vlog for today. Come back tomorrow for another weekly vlog. Uh, no, lovely to see you. Hope you're all keeping well. Thanks for the lovely comments on the last email. That gave me a nice little nudge up the bum. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Frosty, uh, to make sure that I do more content. But um, yeah, hope you're all well. Let me know what you're up to. If you've got any questions or whatever, get in touch. Join my business homies list. I'll see you next week. Bye.